in the corner of my eye that there is a Bowser being picked for general scales. Excellent. So we're going to have the Bowser presumably against the... Oh, oh, the Bowser Jr.? Oh, amazing. So this is a treat as well. Maggi going for the Bowser Jr. pick. We've got a father versus son showdown right now starting off on Stadium 2. You know how it is. Uh, yeah, so this is quite an interesting matchup, obviously, the father-son matchup. The one big thing that uh, Bowser Jr. definitely has against Bowser is a projectile. Mm. Uh, two of them, actually. And two, both of them fairly decent in t terms of sort of keeping pressure on Bowser. Bowser doesn't really have too many options to uh, deal with them, but uh, the one thing that Bowser will want to look in this matchup, one thing Scales will want to be definitely looking in this matchup, is just applying heavy pressure, not giving uh, Maddie the time to set up those projectiles and set up that wall uh, that would make it very hard for Scales to get in here. Yes, absolutely. And also, there is the scary potential, as we saw a little bit earlier on. Bowser Jr.'s up air strings are absolutely deadly. So General Scales, obviously playing a really big-bodied character, is going to have to do their best to just try and avoid, because you're going to be taking you know, an easy 50-60%, but a lovely up smash at a shield from Magi is going to take it. And those low percent combos are going to be so critical here. If Scales is not careful, they are going to take that 50-60% just from that one interaction. And then suddenly what is looking like, obviously, not much of a lead right now can just escalate. Oh yeah, 100%. Bowser is uh, a big body, big heavy. He's just pretty much combo fodder for uh, a Bowser Jr. who knows how to keep you in the strings. As we're seeing now, General Scales already back up to 89%, but Down Smash is going to take it for the General Scales here onto the first dock against Magi. Yeah, that was a delightful spot dodge read. Of course, you know, a lot of Bowsers are going to go for the grabs and a forward smash though, going to return the favor and suddenly a, you know, we were mentioning earlier on that lead can just escalate against Bow, you know, as Bowser Jr. And now suddenly, here we go. Lovely jab coverage, not quite getting the up air conversions, but Ooh, just nice grabbing grab the reset there. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. really solid stuff. And Scales very much playing from behind here. Of course, Bowser being the heaviest character in the game, going to be living for quite a bit longer. But even then, with somebody, you know, as proficient as Magi, and with this, you know, complete setup it's going to be hard to make this comeback, isn't it? I think that at this point, unless uh, Scale suddenly turns it up to 11 here and tries to take this stock as quickly as possible and then just kind of zero to death immediately after the respawn. Nice dive be there. Nice command grab getting uh, Magi into that offstage situation. And ooh, an incredible read there by Scales getting the grab. He's, I, I was saying it a second ago. Scales is actually turning it up to 11 here. He's definitely finding that percentage. If we can find that kill move, that might do it. Yeah, now the one thing that is that one thing that is quite scary using the side Bs is that I believe if Magi is at the lower percent, he can control where Bowser goes. And so particularly when you're at a stock lead, you can just sail off the edge because you're you're gonna win. Oh for sure, yeah. So you know, Scales has gotta be careful in these kind of situations. You don't want to be going for that side B too often. Of course, whether Magi is aware of this fabulous lovely. backer. Yeah, that was so, so good. And 185% a Bowser with Rage, one solid read with a bit more percent and the comeback will be complete, but uh. the spot dodge, up smash, managing to catch just the tip of the tail on Bowser and Magic takes game one. Yeah, that was unfortunate when General Scales goes in for the dash attack there. Obviously that would send uh, Bowser Jr. up into a, uh, send Bowser Jr. up, which would allow him to convert either through uh, up airs or even a sort of fading back into a forward air at that point, kind of push him back onto the offstage uh, and see how that would lead. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Magic reads it, takes a spot dodge, and uh, as is typical of a lot of characters in this game, spot dodge up smash and you're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, such a good option, of course, spot dodge cancelling, meaning that you can just throw out a move pretty much immediately after a spot dodge, and we are seeing them sticking with the same characters. Of course, Magic has got the wolf available, it was very prominent wolf certainly before lockdown happened, but I'm enjoying the fact that they're going back to their Smash 4 roots, going for that Bowser Jr. pick, and just Scales electing for a smaller stage. What do you think about this? I quite like it, actually. I think the one thing that's probably going in Scales' mind is it doesn't allow Magi to... Even though I haven't really seen the cannonball actually being used in uh, from Magi so far, I do think it's in Scales' mind to... Uh, close the gap between the two of them to allow uh, Magi to not get distance and set up uh, the, the Cooper bombs or all the cannonball and allow him to put pressure on. Unfortunately, it's, at the moment, it's not really looking General Scales' favour. Yeah, it is really, really difficult. Obviously, Bowser enjoys exerting that up-close pressure, but in the same vein, the exact same thing can be done to you. And Magi does a really, really good job at exerting that pressure, not only 
through the setups, but obviously his positioning as well is so, so excellent. Even if you, you know, don't fall into one part of the setup, he's there to cover another. It's so damn good. A forward throw off stage. We've got a little bit of an edge guard situation. You've got to watch the cannonball, though. Yeah, it fails, it fails to hit uh, Magi with the forward air there, but nice recovery to go low and then up be back to stage, catching Magi's recovery that way and uh, allowing a nice return to the stage there for scales. Unfortunately, not being able to give it the back air from uh, Magi, they're going to take it uh, to the first stop in this match. Which I actually re just realizing that that was very high percentage from both of them. Yeah, you've really got to be careful. Ooh, Ooh nice fall. <laughs> just, I guess at that point, scales were just throwing out options. Yeah, <laughs> the scary, the scary part about obviously the high up B from Bowser Jr. is that they have got that hammer swing to sort of say, hey, I'm not completely vulnerable here. Oh yeah, for sure. I, uh, I, I it's, I'll be honest, Bowser Jr. is not a character I'm too familiar with. But the one thing I am always oh, all the inf was that caught from the up B there that managed to break scales. Yeah, the clown car really really difficult particularly with a character like Bowser who's got a fairly linear recovery if they're gonna go low you can just throw out that clown car and then just cover the high option and then Bowser really doesn't have much that they can do no 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 unfortunately not for Bowser as like you said with the linear recovery only with really having the upbeat to get through uh, back to stage but scales here it definitely it's definitely winnable I and mean, we definitely saw that even though he was getting high percentage built on that last stock he definitely found a way and just throws out the forward smash and takes it oh my god what beautiful spacing from general scales there being just outside of that final jab and just drop kicking him for his troubles so so good and again we're seeing a similar position to game one where Magi has got a decent lead. Scales struggling to get too much started. They have turned it up to 11, but Magi might be playing higher than that right now. 100%. I, uh, I think Magi definitely here, all he's really going to look for is just a few couple of kill options where he's going to go for a grab and to get a conversion off the off stage from that. Maybe even look at the jab. We're aware of the jab can do it, but the forward smash there is just going to take it on the counter, the counter in the shield there. Yeah, it's so, so difficult. Obviously, up will shield being an excellent option for Bowser. However, it is punishable if you shield every single hit. Surprisingly punishable. You know, Magi able to get out that forward smash in time to take the second game and to advance through pools on winner's side. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I did I very much enjoyed Magi's play there. Mm. Um definitely played it played it perfectly well and but pretty much almost perfectly as he really could do. I think Scales definitely got lucky on a couple of the options. Uh, the forward smash especially in that last game. <laughs> um, yes, it was perfectly spaced, didn't get caught into the jabs, obviously didn't get um, didn't get punished from that sort of side of things, but definitely felt like a desperation option. Uh, but a scales on the flip side of that scale definitely looked more confident as the games went on. I think he definitely could have taken something if given the